you cool cats and kittens. I mean, hey, all you golden hawks, and welcome to another episode of Hawk Talk. Yeah, sorry about that mess up. I've just been watching a lot of Netflix lately. It's no big deal. I'm totally ready for this quarantine to be over already. It's been so long since I've actually been able to sit down and eat at a nice fine restaurant. Even though I'm more of like a fast food type of guy, like, you know, grab and grub. Anyways, this first story shows how a restaurant in our community is doing in these difficult times. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, many local restaurants have been struggling to make ends meet while also following social distance policies. Recently, this hardship has hit closer to home for Elda alumni Kareem and Nora Hawari, who are the owners of Kareem's restaurant in Anaheim. So in 1989, my parents both immigrated from Nazareth. They got married, came here with almost nothing in their pocket, nothing to their name, and my dad had a dream to open a Middle Eastern restaurant. And basically it was filled with all of his family recipes and everything he had learned as a kid. So my parents opened the restaurant and Kareem and I were born around the same time and our sister Marwa. During my senior year of high school at El Dorado, my father passed away from lung cancer. I just remember feeling so broken at that time. It's a huge testament actually to the teachers at El Dorado because I wouldn't have been able to make it through my senior year without them. It was devastating, but it was kind of like the sky had cleared for both of us um, to tell us that there's no other clear path but to carry on our father's legacy. So when social distancing was first enforced, um, I was totally against it. My sister Nora had to like force me to close down because I really couldn't imagine not having customers in here as we usually would. So it was kind of heartbreaking, but we realized that it's what was best for the community. I think as soon as our governor said that it's very important that we take this seriously and take different measures, um, right away we took it seriously because we have more of a responsibility than a normal you know, Samaritan. We have a business and we have hundreds of customers coming through our doors and so it's so important that we take measures to protect them and to protect ourselves. Some extra precaution steps we have taken is to sanitize almost every single thing that can virtually be touched. We're all constantly wearing masks um, and gloves during any operation in the store. We just really want to serve our customers and uh, see what they need and we want them to feel comfortable when they walk into our restaurant. Our sales are definitely not the same, but I think we're really blessed to be able to recognize our strengths and our weaknesses, and we are able to adapt. Kareem and I have really been pushing to put our falafel out there. We sell on Amazon, we sell on our website. Um, marketing is very important to us. A message I have to other small businesses like ours is to just keep the faith, stay positive, remember why you started your business. A big thing I believe in is your why in life. And as long as you know why you're doing something, you don't have to worry about the hows um, or the intricate stuff. Don't be afraid to, to ask for help. I see a lot of people are shy to admit that they're in trouble and it's totally fine to say, okay, we're not doing all right. What can we do to help um, our situation? And so just having this strong community and communication between people um, is really helping um, businesses come out of these dark times. Look at that. Um, what you doing there, Philippe? I'm just trying to stay in shape. It's been a lot harder. With all the sports being postponed. Well, I did golf, so I'm not missing out on much exercise anyway. Our next segment is about Eldo's own volleyball team. I'm a senior captain on the volleyball team. This is my fourth year on the team, my third year in varsity. My time in volleyball shaped my high school experience by giving me a community and friends to just hang around and learn volleyball and grow together with. My favorite part of playing volleyball is competing on the court with my teammates every game. And since we're all friends on the same team, our bond is a lot stronger and we play better on the court together. My favorite memory from volleyball would have to be our very last game right before we got the news from the lockdown situation and coronavirus. We actually ended up winning that tournament 4 to 0. Our team is stayed connected during quarantine as the entire program had a car parade to celebrate the seniors. 
actually got to see some of my friends and a lot of the team parents there and get to hang out with them and catch up a little bit with them. Volleyball made my high school experience a lot more fun by meeting new people that are going to be friends for the rest of my life. I want to thank Coach Britt and my teammates for a memorable season this year. We should all be proud to finish a short in season 14 and 6. If I could say anything to my team or coaches, I'd just say have fun, um, play hard, and appreciate every moment you have because you never know when it'll be your last. Boys and girls, you still need to be doing your work. This isn't a vacation. Hey, turn your cameras back on. I need to see your faces. Hey, Steven. Is everything okay over there? Oh, that's just my mom. She teaches fifth grade, so this distance learning has been more tolling on her than usual. Yeah. Teachers don't nearly get enough recognition for all the hard work they do. That's why this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Hi Hawks, it's Teacher Appreciation Week and every year Hawk Talk likes to thank the teachers that have made a significant impact on our lives. I know it's tough for everyone right now, but our teachers are working really hard to keep us all connected. So please take some time out of your day to thank them. I'd like to start us off by thanking Mr. Switzer for being the greatest inspiration and mentor to all of the students in Hawk Talk. I wouldn't be the person I am today without your guidance. And so from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being the coolest school dad. Hi, Ms. Rayberg. It's Zoe Morales and Ziggy. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for being a great teacher and always ensuring that kids in your class have a lot of fun. Hey, Ms. Lansley. I just wanted to say thank you for being such a great teacher and always helping me out. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for being an awesome teacher. Hi, Ms. Cav. I just wanted to give you the biggest thank you for all that you've done for your AP Gov students from Saturday reviews to Netflix watch parties. I know I speak for the whole class when I say that we are so, so grateful for everything that you've done for us. So thank you so much. Mrs. Switzer, thank you so much. I really appreciate everything you've done for me and everyone else at El Dorado High School. You really bring so much joy through your productions. Thank you so much for bringing it to us at El Dorado High School. Happy Teachers Appreciation Week to all the amazing teachers and staff we have at El Dorado. But a special shout out to Mr. Nasser. Thank you so much for always being there for all your students and helping us get through work problems and life problems. You're always there for us and I just wanted to say thank you. Hi Ms. Shirey, I just wanted to thank you for being such an inspiring and amazing teacher. You made a hard subject easier for me by helping me improve my work ethic and making chemistry really fun. I hope you're doing well and I really miss you. You're a very amazing person and a teacher I'm very grateful for. So yeah, thank you, Ms. Shirey. Hey, Mr. Pettit, I want to thank you for all the hard work and commitment you have for your job. You really do care about each and every single one of your students and you're a huge role model in my life. So thank you. Hey, Mr. Newberry, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being such an awesome AP Psych teacher. I have really enjoyed being in your class this year because it was so fun and so engaging. Thank you for always looking after us students and for hosting that really fun game night. Hey Mr. Baku, thank you for always encouraging me to think outside the box on our projects. Your encouraging and supportive attitude always brightens my day. Hi Ms. Clemmer, thanks for making language arts always fun and checking up on us every week. Hi Ms. Humphrey, thank you so much for everything you've done for me in the past two years. You made every day better when I had you in them and your smile lit up any room. No matter where I'm going, I'm always gonna be a love bug. Thank you so much. Hello, Mr. C! Me and Matthew just wanna say happy Teachers Appreciation Week. Uh, we really appreciate you just being an amazing mentor and a friend and yeah, go Hawks! Take care. Hi, Mr. Mounts. I appreciate you giving us the time to teach us to be more mindful in our lives. It really does impact me. Also, I do appreciate your lectures and stories. They're always exciting and they're always insightful. Hey Mr. Hiltz, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. I'm so thankful to have a math teacher like you. You were a worthy chess opponent. You really made math class fun for me and uh, uh, you really just helped shape my future uh, in, in mathematics. So thank you so much for that. Thank you Mr. Ruman for making online band fun. Thanks for holding Zoom sessions for us to practice. Thank you Mr. Monkeys for teaching me so much inside of game art design. I never thought I'd learn anything about any of this 3D modeling nor Photoshop in the depth that I have until I actually got to be in your class. And thank you for being a great teacher. Hey, Mr. O'Donnell, just want to say that you're one of the most interesting and fun teachers I've ever had and that really appreciate everything you've done for us. So just thanks for making this year really fun and memorable. 
Hi, Ms. Petta. Thanks for four really fun years of AVID and for always being there for all your students. Hey, Mrs. Zakata. I just wanted to say thank you for being the best teacher I could ever TA for and also for letting my friends and I hang out in your classroom every day at lunch for the last four years. It's been super fun. Thank you for everything you do. Hey, Mr. Searby, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. I just wanted to say thank you for always being there for us. I'm really glad I have you as a teacher. Hi, Ms. Armstrong. I just want to say thank you so much for being so supportive of me. And even though you're only my counselor, not actually my teacher, you've helped me so much and you're always so caring and nice to me. And I just want to say thank you. I'd like to give a teacher shout out to Mrs. Anderson, my AP Lang teacher this year. She's really helped me develop my love for writing and improved my writing skills. But beyond that, she's always been a very supportive teacher and always checking in on me to make sure I'm doing great inside and outside of school. And I absolutely love and cherish that about her. Thank you, Mrs. Anderson. Hey, Mr. Yoder. As your students, we're all grateful to have you in our lives. Thank you for checking in on us with the daily choir trivias and the Zoom check-ins. We're really appreciative of everything you've done for your students and thankful for all the opportunities you've given us this year. Oh, and thank you for telling me what a forte is. We all really appreciate you, Mr. Yoder. Thank you for everything you do. Hello, Mrs. Gunner. I hope you are doing great. I just want to let you know you are the best math teacher ever. Uh, in the last year, I was in a sickness and I went to the hospital often. Uh, so I missed a lot of class and you just really patient and spend a lot of extra time on me. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mrs. Gunner. Thank you, Mr. Putnam, for always being such an awesome and supportive teacher, like how you helped me out with that travel club I started, which can't happen now for obvious reasons, but thank you so much anyway. Hi, Mrs. Oberly. Thank you so much for everything you have ever done for me. You care so much about each and every one of your students, and you always push us to do our very best. I miss having second period with you. Hey, Mr. Sampson. I just want to say thank you for an amazing few years of band. It's been an incredible journey. You've helped improve me as a performer and as a person, and I just want to say thank you. Hey, Mrs. Perkins. I just want to say thank you so much for all that you do for El Dorado, including me. You have been so encouraging to me since sophomore year, and I always get a smile when I come into your classroom. Hola, Senora Linares. I just wanted to thank you for always inspiring our class and just being so dedicated and being a good person to talk to. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Lee. Uh, it's Thank you for everything you have taught me in Algebra 2. It's been fun and I've learned a lot in your class. Hi, Mrs. Williams. I just want to say thank you so much for caring about your students and always making class so much fun. Your work does not go unappreciated. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week this week. Um, I would like to thank all my teachers that, you know, taught me all the things I need to be taught. Especially Dr. Beckman. I'd like to give Dr. Beckman a shout out. You know, I loved being in his class. You rock. Um, I loved all the music he played. He played the best music. You know, I love you, Dr. Beckman. Hi, Ms. Tingley. Although you aren't one of my current teachers, you're one of the most caring and compassionate teachers I've ever had. You've stood by my side and helped me when I needed it most. You are truly a golden star in our sea of golden hawks. Take care. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Hawk Talk. And just keep hanging in there. Soon this will all pass. See, See you, you next time, time Hawks.